marriage. All right, babe. In this segment, we are doing the, the marriage moment or whatever we call this. I don't know what we call it. The marriage time. Actually, going through your book, right? That's right. And the next chapter, we don't know exactly. You don't have chapter numbers. So the next title of this chapter is Coach or, or cheerleader. cheerleader. Yeah. Right. And you were never either. I was not. I was <laughs> never. Um, yeah. No, not not me. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is the chapter where you kind of threw me under the bus a little bit. But I no, didn't throw you under the bus. No, I know that. But, uh, but no, it, it is kind of a, an interesting concept that you're not original to this. This is a, a common thing that ladies talk about. And even this is good for guys too, honestly. But since this book was written to ladies, we're going to talk about it from their perspective, right? Yeah. And so... You know, like me growing up, I played every sport possible. You know, I didn't play necessarily all the on varsity or anything, but I played sports growing up. I was very active as a young person playing all these sports. And there is something about when you get up to bat, playing baseball, that is, and, you know, people are cheering you on, yeah. you, you know, and there is something to that that is great. Yeah. That you can have someone that is cheering you on as opposed to coaching you, which is important too. Well, right. They're both very important. I, I never really would have thought of cheerleaders as important. Obviously, the coach is important. You yes. see the team up there. You see the coach yelling at all the players. And you understand growing as you grow up that that's important. You need somebody that corrects them and says, hey, don't do it like that. And, you know, and I always thought that was harsh, right. I guess, being a woman. I just feel like, oh, don't yell <laughs> at them. You know, you just feel so bad, especially like my brother would play um, basketball or baseball and the coach would yell at everybody. And I just always felt bad. But anyway, but there's there's a reason to have that position. And obviously, the coach is much needed. Right. But um, anyway, but this chapter, though, I find is actually probably most men's favorite chapter for their wives I'm to read. I'm probably sure. Yeah, I'm sure you're right. Yeah. Because I think, well, I mean, I think everybody, but men especially, I think they want a cheerleader. They want somebody that gets behind them and is for them. And, and you know, I, I used to think cheerleaders were just kind of fluff and there's no purpose, but you actually... In professional sports, yes. Okay. Yes. But you actually find that... It's, it really does make a difference. And even, you know, um, watching different sports, you see that there's like something called um, home field. Home, home field, field advantage. Yeah, okay, when you have like yes. all the stands or whatever, fields or whatever they have. Sarah is getting out of her okay. element here. <laughs> you have all the crowd there and they're all cheering for the certain team. Yep. And if you're, you're um, from out of town or out of state or whatever and oh. you're there and, and everybody's yes. booing you like that's very <laughs> discouraging and you would think well what does it matter when these people especially on the professional level they're professionals so what does it matter but it actually can really make a difference it, it's huge the the main thing is confidence yeah. and confidence is a funny thing uh, now in sports confidence is it goes up and down so quickly even if you're really good it doesn't matter. You miss a couple shots, you know, playing basketball, or you, you strike out a few times, or you make an error. You start doubting yourself. One error, ah, no big deal. Two, and now you're really like, Maybe, what is going on? Yeah. I, I remember there was a moment in my life when I, in high school when I just... I. I wasn't the greatest hitter for baseball, but I could always put the bat on the ball. And mm. there was a, a, a time, it was mainly because my eyesight, but uh, was starting to go... I couldn't hit the ball. And I'm like, what is going on? And my confidence just went through the tank and uh, until I found out I had you know, eye problems and I needed to fix those. And then I could hit again. But by then, it was, uh, it was virtually too late. But it is a funny thing how confidence, I don't care if it's sports or in your job or at, 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 in family life, yeah. you know, while you're at home. If you feel like you're failing, it takes a lot to to overcome that unless you have that person come alongside you and, and cheer you on. It, yeah. it is a it's a wonderful thing. You know, that's why we're is sometimes at job on the job site, you know, you do need to correct someone, but you you gotta be careful just you have to read people and like, okay, you don't always wanna pump their tires on everything. Right. You know, you want to be careful. There is a time where, like, you're like, my husband is a bum. And I'm like, yeah, but there is something that you can pump his tires on. You can, you can cheer him on something. And there is maybe a time where a coach is needed, but uh, maybe the, the, the lady isn't the one to do that. I don't know. Yeah, but well, um, you do talk about the difference there. I do. Well, and I mean, I think with our children, 
it's natural for me to coach them. And yeah. I'm constantly telling, you know, when they're little, for sure, I'm constantly correcting them and trying to help them do better. And so then you come home and I feel like, okay, you're just a grown child of mine that I can try to correct and try to help <laughs> you do things better. Right. And, you know, it can be out of a good heart, but I think a lot of wives do more damage that way because you're trying to, you're trying to make him better and that's not, that's the wrong way to do it. You right. know, and, the, and the same could be said for guys too, but we're like I said, we're not talking to the guys right, right. now. But yeah, um, yeah, because I mean, ladies, ladies want to be pumped up too. Oh sure, you know? but I mean, I think especially, I mean, some of those, you know, you're at the end of the World Series or the Stanley Cup or the Super, Super Bowl. Bowl or something, and I mean, it's like high, high pressure there to you know do whatever it is that you're supposed to do in that sport. And I feel like it's so important to have people cheering you on. And I feel like for a lot of husbands, there's a lot of pressure involved in leading a family and making decisions. And so instead of wives sitting there waiting for them to mess up or say, "I knew that wouldn't work," or <laughs> you know, "You right. shouldn't do it that way," instead, if we could look for things that they are doing well yep. and praise them for that, and notice, and you know, tell tell your friends and let him hear you tell your friends about how good he is at whatever it is that he was doing. And I feel like that will make a world of difference. Sure. No, I, I totally agree. So check it out, the coach or cheerleader chapter. It's uh, We just talked about it, but uh, you go into depth a little bit more yeah. on what some, give, give some examples and things like that. So once again, promote your book there. Yep. So this is, you can run in flip-flops, but is that the best way? So, That's right. So yep. pick up a copy if you'd like. Um, um, if you don't, you can just keep listening to these things. So, uh, all right. Thanks a lot.